Fantastic human. Hello. Apple just brought back slide over in iPadOS 26.1. But before you get too excited, let's talk about what that really means. Spoiler. This comeback isn't quite the victory we were hoping for. When I first heard slide over was returning, from those of you guys that are still testing the developer beta, I was thrilled, genuinely. Floating apps you could summon anywhere, anytime. That's the kind of power the iPad used to give us. But it feels like things keep getting messy. Slide over doesn't work with full screen apps. Disappointing, right? And it gets worse. You can't just drag and drop apps into slide over. You've got to open the multitasking menu, tap your way through a couple of steps, and then finally select slide over. It's slower, clunkier, and honestly, the opposite of intuitive. At that point, I started thinking, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's better once you use it. Nope. It only supports one app at a time now. Just one. Gone are the days of stacking multiple apps and swiping through nodes, mail, safari, and messages like a multitasking pro. Now it's just a single lonely window floating around your screen. So yes, slide over is back, but it's really not back. It's like unwrapping a gift box and finding socks inside. Technically a present, but not the one you were hoping for. Still, part of me is just relieved it exists again. After losing so many multitasking tools in iPadOS 26, even a limited version feels like something to hold on to. Slide over might give you a bit of that old iPad magic, or just enough to remind you how good it used to be. Now, there are a few bright spots. Slide over is finally resizable. You can change its size, position it in any corner, and, and actually make it fit your workspace. Whether you're reading an article, keeping your calendar nearby, or monitoring an email, that's a small win. Another nice touch, it now stays visible when you switch between apps. If you're working in pages or jump to Safari or files, the slide over window stays on top. That consistency makes the experience a bit more polished more connected. But that also raises the question, why not let it work with full screen apps? It's literally floating on everything else already. It should work in full screen, it just doesn't. And here's something odd, that little slide over arrow at the side of your screen, the one that lets you bring it back, sometimes it just disappears, gone which makes it super easy to forget you have a slide of a window open. Out of sight, out of mind. Not exactly what you want from a productivity feature. Still, I find myself using windowed apps more just to make use of the one app slide of a window. Even though I strongly dislike windowed apps, because there is no other choice. So yes, I'm glad it's back, but the version of slide over in iPadOS 26.1 is a step backwards. I just hope Apple listens and brings back the full multitasking magic we had around iPadOS 18. Yeah, until then, we'll make do with what's left. Does this new slide over make your workflow smoother? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm really curious. And. Until next time, fantastic human, stay fantastic.